God wants you to share your food, your spiritual food, all the bread and wine and stuff God has given you. He wants you to share it with those that are hungry for the word of God around you. He wants everyone to share the food you're receiving with others. Feed your roommates. Feed your friends. In class, tell them, come here. Have you heard of the tabernacle of Moses? Feed them. Tell them, did you know that there are six foundational principles of Christianity? Hebrews 6 verse 1 and 2. Look at it. Come, let me explain. Feed them. Because you're surrounded by hungry people. When you find them, they are hungry. You see them have a desire for God. Every time they are saying, mm, you're gisting and you talk about God and they are saying, me, I want to grow. Me, me, I don't even understand things in the Bible. The person is hungry. Feed them. This is the kind of fast God wants. He's not staying hungry for 21 days, 40 days, 100 days. God said, this is the kind of fast I want. That your own, I'm not interested. You want to fast my way? Feed hungry people. You see people do everything except this one. Ah, I'm off to church. You just left a hungry person. God is like, come on, go back from that fast. Go and feed that guy. That time you would have run up and down, sit down and say, all right, after classes, let's talk. And you would have spent one hour in church, breaking fast. Break it there. Fast there. Fast by sitting down with that person. Not being every time the per you would have a chance to talk to someone, you say, I'm hungry. Oh boy, before talk, go but try hunger, don't you leave me. You head off to canteen. You want the fast God wants is you staying hungry for that extra one or two hours after class to talk to a hungry person. That's the fast God has chosen. Is that in your Bible? This is the fast I've chosen. I want you to share your food with the hungry. All of us have spiritual food. Isaiah 55 tells you, says, come to me. All those that are hungry, come. Those that thirst, come and eat from me. The real deal. He says, come and eat. Come and drink. He tells you. Have you seen Isaiah 55 before? Hey, all who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come. Buy and eat. Come. Buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why pay money for something that will not nourish you? Why spend your hard-earned money on something that will not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is nourishing. Enjoy fine food are you hearing did you hear that that is the food that god recognizes that is the food that god recognizes it is not the many things we often praise feed people with food you got from god what else did he say provide shelter for homeless oppressed people I hope you know that many people are out in the rain and don't have a home. You do know that the house of God is where God lives. Ephesians 2.20 is that he's building that you too are being built up into a habitation for God to dwell in by his spirit. Ephesians 2.20, 21, 22. Where does God live? In his church, in his people. For you are the temple of the Holy Spirit you are the temple of God you the coming together we together each of us individually according to Peter we are living stones when they bring us together we create a house a home in the spirit what did God just say you should do here for those that are homeless and oppressed what did he say you should do for them provide shelter for them what would that mean is, is it difficult to understand? I have a simple question to ask all of us here. Are we surrounded by homeless people? Are they people without any church family? Functional, useful church family? Are they? What have you done about it? You want to fast in a way that pleases God? Give them a home. Take them into your home. It does bother God that you find out a place. The illustration is straight to the point. We used to be friends, three of us. 
and I go out one day and we are going through the town scrounging for food as usual. Even pilfering, just then stuff. And then someone sees us and says, Hey you, come here, you want something, you want food? Yes, ma, because of how I look. And they offer me food. Warm food. Sit down. And I'm so grateful and in shock. Wow, see food. And I eat it. And I am full. And I come back amongst my friends and I say nothing. How now? How far? Fine, I did. I did. I did. How far now? You. So, so you don't chop anything? So, well, I chop, sir. Huh? I don't know if you call that one chop, sir. Huh? I get one place where a person just give you something, but it's okay. Next. The, what you have not said is that you had an open to come back every day whenever you're hungry and you start being scarce your friends don't understand why and every day you're going from going once you go twice you're not sure they will feed you that many times and you discover that there's food every time all the time there's food there's no time there's not new food available and you break up from your friends with time they don't know your way again and you're here eating God sees how God sees he looks down and sees you and in between that you're eating then you stop and say today I'm doing fasting to give thanks to God for all his goodness to me and God is like what nonsense fasting come on go and bring those that don't have a home to eat if you watch this in a movie you will be disgusted yes God is watching us so is the family abode watching us like a movie 